Hey everyone, Frank from Tree Plotter here. Uh, we get a lot of questions and a lot of inquiries. Uh, a lot of folks are writing reports, whether that's uh, for a municipality or for a homeowners association. Say, hey, you know, I gotta put some trees on a map and then deliver a report to my client. So, uh, just gonna create a quick video here showing you all exactly how easy it is to do that. Um, you can see I, I've got this uh, homeowners association little small neighborhood pulled up right here on the map. All I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add a couple trees by map here. We'll just go ahead and add this one right here. Um, let's call this one uh, an American Sycamore. Um, you know, just enter in some basic information. Maybe this one is 24 inches in uh, DBH. Uh, you know, call it a height range of 30 to 50 feet. Go ahead and close that one. So we got this other one right next to it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, add that one. Uh, I'm going to actually load the information from the last tree here to, to save me some time. What it's going to do is copy all the information from the last tree I wrote. Might be a different species, so, you know, maybe this one's a red maple. Um, I can just go ahead and uh, change that. And, yeah, you know, maybe the DBH is slightly smaller. Maybe it's 22 inches, but, you know, the status and the height uh, are all pretty much the same. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill these out for these next few trees say this one's another red maple but you know it's probably a little bit smaller call it 18 inches in dbh close that and then just do one more here uh this one we'll call another american sycamore you know a lot of times uh the species are going to be pretty similar as they are planted all at the same time and uh yeah we'll call this one maybe 20 inches in dbh and now I've got four trees on the map here, and I'm just gonna come out of add mode. Uh, we're able to take a look at these trees. We can you know, produce a scenario here now. Um, and what I'll do is I'm just gonna come here to this map scenarios tool, and I could click on this and then create a unique hyperlink so that anybody that's going to be clicking on that link is going to come straight back to this exact same uh, set up as I've created it here. I'm just going to log in quick to be able to do that. Um, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So when we come over here, I'll click on the map scenarios tool, we'll create a map scenario. We'll just call this the HOA map. And I'll save this. And as soon as I copy this link, um, anybody that I send this to, so long as they have the correct access permissions, is going to be brought to the exact same scenario, the exact same setup that we have. But yes, we can share these maps digitally, but if you're writing a report, then uh, how exactly do we get this information into that report? Um, well, you know, let's just go ahead and uh, what we'll do is we'll add some labels to these trees and then we'll print out a map. Um, so what do we want to label them with? Uh, we're going to be displaying by the species over here. Um, so it'd be pretty simple just to actually have the species color coded, but Maybe we want to label the trees with their DBH. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the labels on. And you can see now that those DBH numbers pop up right next to each individual tree. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tell the software that we only want to look at these trees that are within this area. And that'll only now show me the two species that I've got um, in here on the legend. So collapse the legend, make it a little bit more readable. Um, now let's just say that I'm going to write a report and uh, this report I'm going to include a printed map in. So we're just going to call this the HOA map before. We have the options to check whether we want to include a legend and a scale. And it looks like I got to move my bubble in my face here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and print this out. And printing this out will give me a JPEG. It, it'll provide me whatever file type I choose, whether it's a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. And when I click on this after the software has gone to work to produce the map, you'll see a, a PDF, or in this case, it's a JPEG. Um, and it's got my label, my title right here, that HOA map. Uh, it's got all the labels I included in the trees. It's color coding by species. You can see that in the legend here. I could copy and paste this into a Word document. Um, I could put this into whatever report I'm writing, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation or, you know, something that we're delivering on actual physical paper. We could now go and print this out. Um, but so that's it. It's really that simple. All we have to do is just add the trees 
Um, we can create digital scenarios to come back to, or we can also create the standard PDF or um, image-based map, and that's it. Uh, any questions, feel free to just reach right on out to us, but uh, hopefully this short video helped. Thanks again.